Good morning children. Today we shall learn about the heating effects of the electric current. During heavy storms, many of us have seen the winds and rain break the branches from the trees and make them fall on the electric wires. This causes sparks on the power lines, that is, the electric wires hanging from the posts on the road. Then suddenly, a weird sound comes from the bulb at home and electricity is gone. There is a power outage. There is no electricity for a long time. After electricity is back, we may find that the bulb is not glowing. What happened? How did the bulb get damaged? Let us do some investigation to get to the root of it. Electric bulb is not working. What is wrong with it? Observe it closely. What is this? The thin wire inside is broken. We already know this thin wire gives off light and it is called the filament of the bulb. Now, if we look at the bulb which is working properly, what do we see? The filament is not broken. So, for the proper functioning of the bulb, the filament should be intact. Look, we found the problem. Let us place the two bulbs, working one and the damaged one, near each other and see the difference clearly. Here we can see clearly the working bulb has an intact filament while the damaged bulb has the broken filament. But why does the broken filament not glow? Hmm, let us find it out. Here, first we take a working bulb and make a simple circuit using the bulb, an electric cell and a switch. When the switch is on, the circuit is complete and the current flows. Look, the bulb is glowing. The electricity also flows through the filament inside the bulb and the filament glows lighting the bulb. So, it is a part of the circuit. Now place the switch in off position. Replace the working bulb with the damaged bulb and switch it on. Obviously, the bulb won't glow and there is a reason for it. We all know when a circuit gets broken, the current cannot flow through it. Here with the broken filament, there is no complete path for the current to flow and hence the bulb doesn't glow. So now we know the electric current doesn't flow through that broken filament anymore to make it glow. But now the question is, how did it get broken? No one hit the bulb. Who or what did it? Hmm, the case is getting interesting. Remember, it is not working since that electric sparks on the wires outside the home during the storm. Electric sparks. The electric sparks mean something bad happened in wires. We know that. But what? If you come close to a glowing bulb, you would feel the heat. Small bulb used in the night lamps gives less light and becomes less hot. Bigger light bulb gets hotter when glowing and also give more light. So electricity must be creating this heat. So more electric current means more heat. If the flow of current increases, more and more heat will be produced. Can too much electric current flow through the filament, create lots of heat and damage it? Can this even burn the small filament inside the bulb? You got it! If a large current passes through a wire, the wire may become so hot that it may even melt or break. So now we know the wire gets hot when an electric current passes through it. This is the heating effect of the electric current. The electricity causes heat. That's why we can feel the heat coming out from the back side of TV after running for few hours. The heat due to the increased current damaged the bulb. If larger amount of current was there, creating more heat, it could have burned the wires too, causing fire. But don't worry. Generally, 
this doesn't happen correct the electric wires are made to build the circuits to carry the electricity so the electric appliances are made of wires that can tolerate the heat otherwise the wires would be burnt every time we run tv fans for few hours this also means every circuit can tolerate heat but at times we keep hearing about the burnt wires electric fire this is because the heat tolerance power of a circuit cannot be unlimited when the current flow through a circuit exceeds its tolerance limit that is the current is greater than what a circuit is designed to carry it is called overloading of the circuit this can make the circuit extremely hot causing hazards like melting or burning of wires and can even damage the elements of the circuit like the bulb tv etc but why did the current through a circuit increase suddenly and undesirably causing damage to the bulb hmm think overloading happened after the sparks in the electric wires remember due to the storm the tree branch fell on the wires and the wires were rubbing against each other so when the two electric wires touch each other directly or through some other conducting material the current through the electric wires may increase as the current travels along an unintended path this is called short circuiting wind may cause power lines to swing together resulting in a short circuit at a homes we see that the wires are covered by plastic which is an insulating material if that cover comes off due to wear and tear two adjacent wires may come in direct contact with each other causing short circuit short circuit causes overloading thus may also lead to fire so if we find that cover of any wire is coming off we should get it replaced or repair the cover by calling an electrician if the electricity flow wasn't stopped during the storm it would burn all the circuit like the small filament in the bulb now let us summarize what we understood today the wire gets hot when an electric current passes through it this is the heating effect of the electric current when the current flow through a circuit exceeds its tolerance limit it is called overloading overloading can lead to hazards like damaging the appliances melting or burning of wires and in the worst case can also lead to fire but don't worry all this unfortunate incidences can be avoided to a greater extent by taking certain preventive measures which we shall learn in our next class till then bye bye kids and take care